mean that everything, everything, that these methods that we know, those are just affirming methods. Yeah. That's all it means. It's just affirming methods. It doesn't mean that that's the only way to do it. That's the way it has to be done. That's the law. They said, there's an old saying that says that they, they used to, for those meat eaters out there, they used to get the ham. Meat eaters? Well, flesh eaters, excuse me. <coughs> the, the flesh eaters. You know, they say they used to get a ham, and they would cut the end of the ham, each end, they'd set it in the, skin, in the pot, in the pan, and they'd cook it. So one day the young man asked, well, mama, why you cut the end of the ham? He said, man, I don't know, go ask your grandma. <laughs> So he went and said, Grandma, why do you cut the ends of the ham? I don't know. That's what my mom did. Go ask her. Who was the great grandma? Great grandma, why you cut the ends of the ham? She said, Ah, oh, the pot wasn't big, the pan wasn't big enough. <laughs> so okay. for years we've been cutting, they've they been cutting off the ends of the ham, thinking that that's the way, that's the yeah. way that it go. But if the ends of the ham was cutting off just because it wouldn't fit yeah, in the pan. So we do a lot of things because of tradition. Tradition. We don't know why we do it. It's just tradition. Tradition has got us in a terrible fix. Right. That's right. Terrible fix. In a terrible fix. It's, it's, you, you have to know why you're doing something. Right. It's just like back in the day, <coughs> You weren't allowed to read, so if you could, if you could recite the Constitution, they would give you a quarter. Hmm. They'll pay you for it because <laughs> they knew black people, Negroes, Moors, wasn't supposed to read. But that's what happened. Right, right. The reason I brought up the box is about the, the ham. Is to say that there's a lot of ways, there's a lot of things that we do, but we don't know why we do it. Sometimes right. we just do things that's what we've been told to do. Yeah, it, it goes back to, I say it goes back, it's just tradition. They didn't know, they didn't have, what they passed down to us was what was told to them. They didn't have uh, the technology we had to research um, why it was done this way. And why shouldn't it be done that way? If Big Mama said it was done this way, you that's the way it was done. And if it wasn't done Big Mama's way, right. it wasn't the right way. Right, right, right. So I had a conversation the other day. You know, I've come from a lineage okay. of this science. So within coming from a lineage, you have certain people within your trial, what we call family, that may not agree or understand what others in the family are doing. So I was asked the question, so man, Kenpo, what's that? What is that? What's your, what is that y'all religion? Is y'all a cult? What is that? What is going on? Oh, this was just yesterday, day before yesterday. Mm -hmm. And so to clear the table up, to keep clear the, the BS off the table, what I decided to do was I reached back to the, to the, to my, my cousins that I knew family was saying were crazy. So I said, oh, man, it's the same thing that we do and then we're all years back. Man, what you mean? Well, it, it seemed like they were trying to get money, and it seemed like, I mean, they came down with a list of all kind of nonsense. Negative. Negative. Straight negative. Yeah, yeah. Straight negative, you know? But but I I can understand where he was coming from. I'm not saying he was right by far, but I understand where he was coming from, because he had, he, they have no knowledge of self. Mm -hmm. So if you have no knowledge of self, you know no way to connect it. You know, you, you it, everything looks like you're just trying stuff, trying stuff, and it won't work. Yeah. You know, so as I, what I did was I started with some basic. I said, well, that's why I started off with correcting or changing or correcting your your, your name. I said, man, you know, on on, on the wall, and, and where we were at, his name was on the wall in all capital letters. Who is that? My cousin. Uh oh. It was all, all capital letters. Oh, let me, let me do this for you. Somebody asked a silly question one day, right? about the star, they said why he has it upside down <laughs> in here. Okay. Explain to them why you have it that way, man. Because they don't even it's know called, why. It's called distress. Say that again, brother. They don't distress. get it. And if Moors don't think we are distressed, boy, we you are right. in distress. You got yeah. mental issues. 
that that is upside down because we are in distress. Yeah. There you go. So anyone that knows when they see that, they know that we're letting you know that we are in distress. Get yourself together. There you go. It's like the Star Spangled Banner. When they put it a certain way, <coughs> there it distress is. Distress signal. That's all. Mm -hmm. So you think because we why why are we in here? Why why are we having I mean it's what the, the alphabet says N stands for nation and now. So what time is it when is it time to raise your nation? Now. Mm -hmm. Now wow, we in distress, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. Most of you think you're African American, blacks, and all kind of stuff. You don't know your level, your level of citizenship. Pretty much. When I ask you, well, what's your nationality? You can't tell me. That sounds like distress. There you go. So that answers your question. Islam, more people be having some silly questions. Like, it's why is it upside down? Like, you gotta ask him. My brother, if this is his first time here, man. Islam, more. Islam. It's first time here, man. He actually hit me up on. YouTube. What was it? Facebook, YouTube? It was on Facebook. You Facebook. Yeah. yeah, this is and I told him to come here because he said I didn't I don't know Respect. no more is out here in San Antonio. And I was like, dude, like, he out here, man. He's gotta link up. You gotta right, have a spot. Right. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> just ask you Well, I'm glad to yeah. be here, man. Well, when you explain that, I feel like it was another confirmation because in my head I think well earlier I was curious about getting a flag. I was like, I'm gonna get a flag, I'm gonna get a flag, I'm gonna get a flag. And then I've seen something about the, about the star being pointed upwards. And I've always seen the star pointed downwards. And okay. when you said that it just, when you said that it just clicked into me. Yeah, because somebody, yeah, head. because somebody asked me that, and I'm like, I'm gonna get Farouk to do it All and right. let him explain right. to the people why is it like that. That's right. That's why I said I'm gonna do it. That's so right. there's, there's, there's a reason for everything. Is it real? Oh, yes, yeah, so it is real. We just don't. We just don't do something because... The reason why it's so damn cold in here is like, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. We're going to heat it up. We're going to heat it up. Right. Oh, right. the bull cuts hella hair, too. The brother is no joke. Come on through. On a haircut. It, Come on through. Hall of Fame. Empress is sitting right there. We went to the vegan fest up in um, Houston. It was off the hook. Nice time. Nice time. Oh, my God. It was off the hook. Great right eating. Great eating. You can spend yeah. like uh, two two hundred dollars in there real easy, oh, right? Oh yeah, right. So you two three hundred dollars real quick, real easy. Before you, at that before you know, vegan thing they had, man, mm. straight up in Houston. But it was nice. It was nice. Right. First time that happened. I was there Saturday. Huh? I was there Saturday. I went to Cyphers. Oh, you went to Cyphers. Yeah. It was. Well, it was, it was we brother, had a great time. Yeah. I came. Oh look, somebody. My man week. Dennis said, "Where are those brothers that I came to San Antonio looking for them?" I posted it on Facebook. You here right now? Let me show y'all where we at. The brothers here. Facebook. You see that? Huh? I ain't got Facebook. Well, you know you don't have Facebook, bro. Come on, man. Come to the 21st century. Man. I'm on. Yeah, I need to. See that something. Hall of Fame? This is his brother's <clears throat> shop right here. And this Empress shop through. right here. She's sitting over there. There she go. That's his Empress right there. You heard me? I didn't say queen. I right. said Empress. Yeah. That's a loose person or a whore for y'all that don't know. Come on. Who don't study language? <laughs> we study Etymology. Etymology. What is the land of the Moors? Come on, y'all. El Mora. We wanna we go. You, did you know that Peru, Mexico, the land of the Moors? Peru. Matter of fact, it's in one of the books. You got the lesson books. USA, Canada, Alaska, all of which compromised the land of the cultured Moors, the descendants from the ancient Moabite nation. The fathers of civilization, oh, yeah. civilization who inhabited the hemisphere. Thus, the USA, Alaska, and Canada lie in the geographical region of the crest of Asia, often referred to as the temple of the moon and the sun. Where can you go where the moon and the sun shine at the same time? Right here in this land. Yes, sir. Yeah. If you ever confused about where you're at, if you ever think that we sit up here just telling lies, look in the sky. Yeah. You brother, see the moon in the right. daytime? I'm reading comments too. Sun. Brother Dennis is saying, leave a, he said, could you leave a number in my inbox for him? I'll leave all that information. You can just look the Hall of Fame barbershop up. The brother's here. <laughs> just look it up. Shoot, you ain't got to, you know. I saw all the lands to Moors. All the lands? Oh, yeah, all the, the you know what I'm so all he's mm -hmm. saying, all land that, that that was ever was ever will be, all the land. I'm just being clear. Yeah, because the moors were everywhere. Okay. <coughs> we okay. were everywhere 
every everywhere. But see, the thing is that people, and this is the problem people have with a lot of us, you know, who say we're Moors, they don't study the names of the Moors. And this is what is happening with a lot of Pan Africans. You know, mm -hmm. they say, did we call ourselves Moors? So yeah. what I did to them is said, well, did we call ourselves Black or African American? Right, right. So if one studies the history of the Moors, we are the Zegwe people, the Kushites, the Mobites, all those still Moors. Right. But most people don't know the history that in Philadelphia, where I was born and raised at, the nationality was taken. The last name on the books were Moors. But if anyone studies history, they will find out we're all the same people. That's right. It didn't matter. You follow me? Mm -hmm. The denationalization process happened in Philadelphia in 1774 yeah. at Carpenter's Hall. That's a known historical fact right. in Philadelphia. It's mm -hmm. not a mystery. It's not a secret. It's a fact that the nationality was taken there and in 1779. And they, they even said, if we teach it, it's going to go on for generations mm -hmm. and generations. Right. You follow me? And it's happening right now. <laughs> but when Nova Dwali said it'd be the third and fourth generation, which we are the third and fourth generation, it ain't necessarily for us right now. It's for our future generation. It's not necessarily for us. It's for we have to start it. You see what I'm saying? Which is happening now. Right. To actually pass it on to our children so they won't go through what we went through. You follow right. me? Mm -hmm. So we have to start it. Right. So there's a lot of stuff in Philadelphia. And I'm going to go live in Philly. And Todd and I are probably going to go around Philadelphia again and do another tour through Philly just to show y'all the history mm -hmm. and what happened. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As I read a minute ago, it said, I said, descendants from the ancient Moabite nation. Mm -hmm. We're going to pause right there and say, Moabite nation. So we got your Moabites, you got a Moroccan, you got Al Moroccan. You so, well, what, what, I'm going to show you your connection. This is for, this is for my, uh, I'm going to say it with respect, with my Jesus, for my Jesus lovers. Okay? So for my, for the ones of uh, the Yahshua Barmerians, okay? I'm going to show you your connection to your Moabite nation. Great great uh, grandmother, Ruth. Mm -hmm. Ruth the Mobite. Ruth the Mobite is. What book is that? Yeah. Right? Book Ruth. <laughs> so, we're going we to make a connection. We're going to say, well, what? They say that the Mo, the Mob, the god of the Moab or the Mob was Chemos. Chemos. Okay? Who was his wife? She most wife, Ashtar. Who is Ashtar? Ishtar. That's your eastern star right there. Make your connection. A star tag. The eastern star. There's your connection right there. The eastern star. So we're gonna go. So do you understand when we talk about this Moabite nation? <laughs> It's not, it's not something small, you know, some of us are confused and we're fighting, we find our own people. You know, we, we, have a, we have a misunderstanding of who our people are because some of our people may be, may be uh, you know, it was once a time that they said, hey, look, if you want to be this, if you want to, if you want to, uh, if you want to continue to live, then you better not practice what you're supposed to practice. You're going to be a Morisco. How can I identify a Morisco? I'm like, I'm quick. What's your nationality? What's your last name? That's all I'm, I could ask you that simple question. Yeah, that's true. That simple question, I'm, I can define you as a Morisco. When you say, uh, well, how do, how, do, how do you know that these rules are, are, are for, for, to be applied? Well, how, do, well how, come, how come I can't be a more? Well, you know, you all are. We all are. Yeah, you all are. You know, but you got active moors. Passive moors. You have passive moors. You have just moors. inactive moors, <laughs> you know, that will fight you. Y'all seen uh, 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 Morpheus? Uh, what's that movie, The Matrix? Mm -hmm. When he says some of them, they, they don't want to be, well, they will fight you to stay. Mm -hmm. They will fight you to stay. How many of us that uh, uh, non-flesh eaters, you be, you, you enjoying a great meal, and then you're across the table, it may be a flesh eater, and they tell they do something to you like this. Oh, I ain't gonna stop eating that. I love my meat. Mm, mm, yeah, mm, I'm not, I'm it's so stop, good. I'm not gonna stop eating my pork. Mm, mm, mm. It's so good. They're fighting you to stay. You see, you have to learn. See, a fight don't necessarily mean physically, because there's all types of wars. Hold on. Mm. There's all types of wars. Hold up, hold up, hold it up. There's all types of wars. I just brought that with me. Mm -hmm. I just brought it with me. 
Oh, let me show you. I just brought him with me. King Alpha's plan, baby. <laughs> There's all kinds of wars wow. going on. So we have to understand that we at war as we speak. Right. This was brought out October 19, 1969. Executive order. 1969. Anybody want to tell me what the executive order is? Who puts out the executive order? The president, president, baby. Okay. That's where that comes from. Oh, that, you got to read the back part of that, man. Oh, man, King, you know I don't have a problem with Oh, read the, no, read the, the back part about controlling the people. That's, yeah, we went over that last week. Controlling, <laughs> and if you read the, man, I miss you, so I know this book by the back of my hand. There's a war going on right now, and you part of it. Yeah, third world war. Right there. So you can actually read them both right there. And this is what is happening right now. Right now. Right now. That? I got you. Read that for people, brother. That's, 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 that's happening right now. Silent Weapon Executive Order number 11490, King Alfred. Diversion Summary. Media. Keep the adult public attention diverted away from the real social issues and captivated by matters of no real importance. Kardashians at the White House. <laughs> Schools, keep the young public ignorant of real mathematics, real economics, real, real law, history. real history. No mm -hmm. real history. They not talk about us being Moors. You told me hear about slavery. You see what I'm right, saying? Right, right. This is what they get in the school. You can break this whole thing down. This is it right here. It's happening. This is it. Or economics. Entertainment, keep the public entertainment Below a sixth grade level. Work. Keep the public busy. Busy, busy. With no time to think back on the farm with the other animals. Now go back to what you just said about the entertainment. Entertainment. Keep the public entertainment below a sixth grade level. That's all we know with sports. That's it. That's it. Keep it. And if you listen to half of these athletes, yeah. they can't even talk right. If you, right. if you watch hey, them man. and hear them talk, it's nonsense. Think right. about it. Right. Keep it. And this is why when I tell people to read the Inquirer, Europeans read Inquirer. Why? Because the Inquirer minds want to know. That's right. That's what the Inquirer is. Mm -hmm. The Inquirer minds want to know what's going on. So we're reading the daily news, which is on a sixth grade level. Mm -hmm. And it's pushed out there. And this is why, again, when now with nature, they say, they say, take them away. We're not even tuned with nature anymore. Right, you know right. when a dog hear a fire, they can hear a fire truck miles away right, before right. it happens, right? right? The birds start leaving at certain times, right? right. It get cold one way, they start flying in opposite, going right. to south, right? Very when south. certain stuff happened with nature, so we're not even in tune anymore. Mm -hmm. That plan is happening right now. Right here. Right. Read the other page of that. This is happening right now. We gotta. This is why they don't want the wars with this information. Right. Yeah. They don't want the public. The occupation. Watch this. Experience has proven that the simplest method of securing a silent weapon and gaining control of public of the public is to keep the public undisciplined and ignorant of basic system principles on the one hand while keeping them confused, disorganized, and distracted with matters of no real importance on the other hand. Let me say that one more time. Experience. Okay, they, we're not guessing. Experience has proven that the simplest method of securing a silent weapon and gaining control of the public is to keep the public undisciplined and ignorant of basic system principles on one hand while keeping them confused, disorganized, distracted with matters of no real importance on the other hand. This is achieved by what? By disengaging their minds, sabotaging their mental activities, by providing a low quality program of public education in mathematics, logic, systems designs, economics, and by discouraging technical creativity. Now that flip side of what I want you to read on that, the back part of that, that's what's happening right now. That's right. 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 And this is why I said they don't want us to know this. You can just flip it around. It's on the back part of it. No, no, don't, don't, don't mess it up. Right? Flip it around. The do's and the don't. Right there. Got that part. So let's go with the dude. This is what they're doing right now. This yeah. is in 1969. Yeah. Put out in 1969. 69. Executive order. Okay. Come on. The dudes. Keep the public in, uh, ignorant. Access to control points, prices, and sales. 
create preoccupation, attack the family unit. That's what they're doing. Give them less cash, more credit, and do less. This is what, how much now, they give what? Less credit, less cash, more credit. More credit right. And don't understand the credit system now. All this stuff can be broken down. The banks cannot loan credit. People don't even know that when you study the bank and bank law. The banks can never loan credit. Right. They're only supposed to loan their money when you study the banking laws. Right. Talk to anybody that's been in banking. They can't, they, matter of fact, they never even loan you no money. They push a button and they create a credit. I can come in your shop and say, Rafruk, Rafik, Rafruk. He messed your name up, my bad, man. It's all love. But I can say, give me a credit limit to $100 for a haircut. Right. You just gave me a $100 credit limit. Right. So how do I have to pay you? Think about it, but he never say how to pay me. Right. I can come in here and give him ten bottles of water if I choose to. Right. But look at what the, what they're doing to our people. Mm -hmm. If you ever notice that you get a credit card, mm -hmm. but have you ever have they ever told you how to pay the credit card back? No, they never, they never did, right? You assume he's supposed assume. to give cash, right? But they never told you how to pay the credit card back. Right. This is the game. But we be conditioned, have been conditioned through school that we give debt notes. Right. And the debt note can't be paid. You can't pay a debt with a debt note. That's in the Constitution. That's right. So we are constantly always in debt. Same as the student loan. Same as the student loan. The student loan, you can never pay that debt back. So if they, I got uh, kids who come in here all the time. They say, well, I got I to gotta start paying these student loans back. I said, well, well what you going to what you gonna give them? What you going to pay them? Well, man, I got to make, dogs. you know, I got to make uh, 500, uh, I make $400 a month. Well, did they ever pay $400 a month? Mm -mm. We 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 just start. We're not asking questions to get the proper answer. That is true. We're just doing. And it says it in uh, Rex eighty four. That's code. Yeah. Rex eighty four. Oh, what is that? Rex eighty four, baby. This right here. It's the same thing right here. Right. So the world can know. Rex eighty four. That same King Alfred plan. Silent weapons. For war. Rex eighty four. Disengage their mind, sabotage their mental activities. Second, engaging their emotions, <clears throat> increasing their self-indulgence and their indulgence in emotional and physical activities by unrelating emotional affront, uh, affront affrontations and attacks, mental and emotional rape by way of constant barrage of sex, violence, and war in the media. And this was going on? Especially the TV and the newspapers. Mm -hmm. so now. I'm gonna tell you this. There's a you should watch it, and everybody should watch it. If y'all didn't see this, the greatest story never told about Adolf Hitler. Hmm. You should go watch it. It's a six-hour-long video, and trust me, when you sit there, it's a six. It's called the greatest story never told about Adolf Hitler. In the documentary, it talks about Adolf Hitler. The reason why they hated him is because he was getting rid of pornography in Germany, and homosexuality in Germany. Hmm. That's why they hated him. It's called The Greatest Story Never Told, told six hours long on YouTube. Right. But when you watch it, you will understand why they hated him. So now, what did the media do? They made the media hate him. Malcolm yeah. said what? The media can make you love your oppressor and hate That's the right. oppressed. Mm -hmm. right. But this is what is happening now. This is why you don't have no real people right. in media anymore. And they dumbing people down. That's right. My, go ahead, brother. Good, okay. <laughs> Giving them what they desire mm. in excess junk food for thought and depriving them of what they really need mind you we're not making this up this is not this is not more talk this ain't more talk baby. this ain't more Say talk it again one more time this Say is it. not more talk no, this sir. is an executive order okay i want y'all to understand that man this is not more talk executive <laughs> this, order. this is put out for you more but this is not more talk rewriting history and law and subjugating the public to the deviant creation, thus being able to shift their thinking from personal needs to highly fabricated outside priorities. Mm. Mm. These preclude their interest in discovery of the silent weapons of social automation technology. Ooh. The general rule is that there is profit in confusion. I'm gonna say it again. Say it again, bro. The general rule is that there is profit in confusion. That's even amongst the Moors. The mm -hmm. more confusion, the more, see, so. the more profit. There mm -hmm. you go. Therefore, the best approach is to create problems and then offer solutions. Woo. 
Tell me if that's not what's going on, people. Exactly. It's not more talk, 19, y'all. That's not more talk. That's this 19, is 1969. 1969 order. executive order. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Consent. Let's go, bro. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get into this consent. See, I've, I've we done told y'all, man, especially y'all this line. Let's get up. the brother, too. We're going to get him to look up the definition oh, of consent. Let's, let's look, look up the dictionary, consent. brother. Let's, let's to to, 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 to keep things in line, man, you know, see, we come from a what we call a theocratic government. What that means is it's order. We see in that, and so to, for you to point out that that you're gonna tell me what to do and how to do it, you're gonna have to show me that your power is higher than the one that's above me. Okay? So this word consent, mm-hmm. this word consent kicks in to where. Look, I don't have to show you anything. Nothing. I don't have to show you anything. You, as long as you hand it over, you right. pay your taxes. Right. I didn't. I don't beat you and make you pay them. You just gonna do it. Right. You gonna be a good nigga. Hey, tell me. You gonna be a good nigga. You be a good nigga. Consent, uh, the me. primary victory. Say it again, bro. Consent. Consent, what? the primary victory. As before, I read this. We are gonna let King go ahead and read that. Read the. Let him read the consent for everybody. Consent, a concurrence of wills, voluntarily yielding the will to the proposition of another. A quest, a quiescence. I, I misspelled. I mispronounced that. But um, or compliance therewith. Agreement, the act of resulting of coming into harmony or accord. Consent is an act of reason, accompanied with deliberation. The mind is weighing. The mind weighing as in a balance the good or evil on each side. It means voluntary agreement by a person in the possession and exercise of sufficient mental capacity to make an intelligent choice to do something proposed by another. Mm. It supposes a physical power to act, a moral power of acting, and the serious, determined, and free use of these powers. Consent is implied in every agreement. Mm. It is an act unclouded by fraud, duress or sometimes even mistake okay Ooh. man hold up but let me ask you something while he's doing that this is what we should do look up the rest now how could we be minority too how could we be minority black people and give consent minors can't give consent right, right, to, nothing. Right, to nothing so how many black people get on radio and say we are the minority of people we're minority. Minorities can't give consent to anything. Right. They can't. They're right. children. They're, right. they're, their minds are like children. Right. It has right. nothing to do with a number. Right. Come on, man. Say so, that again. Everything you sign is all the void, even in the court. Exactly. It's it business. Be, exactly. Right. But they don't tell people that. Though. Let's see how this is applied. I'm saying Let's see how you're going to rock with it while he's looking up that other word. A silent weapon system operates upon data Ooh. obtained from a docile public. Soft. <laughs> Nova King. It's a, it's, it's a lot, a lot more to go. Malcolm said the Nova King boy make you <laughs> numb. You won't know nothing's happening. That's that Nova King, baby. A silent weapon system operates upon data obtained from a docile public by legal, but not always lawful force. Wow. By legal force, but not wow. always lawful. Much information is made available to silent weapon systems programmers through the International Revenue Service. This information consists of the enforced delivery of well-organized data obtained in federal and state tax forms. Mm. You good taxpayers. Mm. Without, with, without reason, taxation, without representation. Well, who's representing black folks? Come on, Jesse Jackson, my bad. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, black folks. Jesse is. Jesse, Jesse, no, Jesse, Jesse's for the African American. <laughs> Al Sharpton is for the black people. Get that right, y'all. Okay, let me make this right. Jesse's for the African Americans, and Al is for the black people. Okay. Let's make that okay. clear. What, what's, their, what's their titles? Who, them? Push Coalition? I don't know what their titles are. No, like are. Reverend. Reverend. Or... Reverend with no church. Mm. So that would be Marisco? The Reverend, yeah. Reverend with no church. Marisco. See, from from if I'm correct, I know pastor, pastor or preacher, to be, to basically to be shepherd. Mm. By definition, 
which means to to flock to to herd a flock. Mm -hmm. Okay, that it would not be the one to educate you, to teach you. It would be the one that is herding the flock. And if you go back into your certain biblical texts, when you're talking about when we have the uh, you'll see pictures where you got a, a man standing, you got a bunch of what we call sheep coming out of the out of caves. Well, if you do your history and you know your history, you'll know that that was a form of grafting. Bye bye black sheep. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Bye bye black sheep. <laughs> this information consists of enforced delivery of well organized data obtained in federal and state tax forms, collected, assembled, and submitted by slave labor, provided by taxpayers and employers. Furthermore, the number of such forms submitted to the IRS is a useful indicator for public consent, an important factor in strategic decision making. Other data sources are given in the short list of inputs. Now watch this. Consent coefficients, numerical feedback indicating victory status. Mm. Y'all ready for this? Art of war tactic right there. When the government, now don't get mad at me because I didn't say this. No, they, they said this. This is an executive order. We're not saying this. 11490. You can look it up yourself. We're not, we're not, we're not clandestine. We let you know what it is. Look it up yourself. When the government is able to collect and seize private property mm -hmm. without just compensation, it is an indication that the public is ripe for surrender and is consenting to enslavement and legal encroachment. A good and easily quantified indicator of harvest time is the number of public citizens who pay income tax despite an obvious lack of reciprocal or honest service. So, two things, CJ, two things. The Fifth Amendment and the 14th Amendment talks about property cannot be taken without just compensation. In the Fifth, but the 14th Amendment does not say that. It don't, if you read the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, it tells you in the 14th, they don't have to compensate you. But the Fifth Amendment, if they take your property, they have to compensate you. Come on. That's what they're building on. Yeah. This is why it's mandatory to know the Constitution. I know it. You have to know the laws. You have to know the Constitution. It's okay. They ain't hiding from you. Government is able to collect tax and seize private property without just compensation. So we're gonna start, so when they're able to collect tax, mm -hmm. give me your bread, Volunteer. seize private property without just compensation. I'm not gonna give you anything, I'm just gonna take it from you. It is an indication that the public is right for surrender. Mm. And that's like manifest destiny, that's the same thing. And it is consi uh, consisting to enslavement and legal Encroachment. Remember, not always lawful. Yeah, that's going because it's legal. Don't mean yeah, that's like going from the thirteen, the thirteen colonies, and then pushing forth this way. It's it encroachment. Is. A good and easily quantified indicator of harvest time. They said of harvest time is the number of public citizens who pay income tax despite an obvious lack of reciprocal or honest services. So I tell you what. Since y'all in the paying mood, why don't you just go and hand it over? Exactly. Just hand it over. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to hand it to me. I'm a dirt, I'm a dirty more now. I don't want it. I'm just I'm giving you an example to say, stop just you just you just hand out your notes. You just handing out your notes. No, you don't know where it's going. Ty said your lunch money. Your well, lunch money. Ty says give up your lunch money to mm -hmm. these people. You just handing it out. Mm. You don't know the rules of engagement. Nope. You as well, oh, you just find y'all find a loophole to get away with something. Now nah, we're trying to show you that there's rules of engagement, there's man. Rules of engagement and law. You don't just you won't just walk up to your mother and slap her, would you? Ooh. Well, some some people would. Some I people, wouldn't. I wouldn't dare. It's not in my culture. These modern day these modern day dudes would do that. My mom would knock you the hell out if you Come try on. that. Right? Come on now. What we're trying to get you to understand is that see, there's a there's a. There's an energy, there's a there's some energy being stolen here. And the energy that is being stolen is yours. See, even if we let's talk, we're gonna talk money. What's supposed to bag the money? Gold and silver, baby. Gold and silver. Gold and silver is supposed to bag the money. Oh, he's gonna pull out the he's gonna pull it out. Here we go. 
And to let y'all know that we're not playing with that, we got a, we got a few of these, a few of the uh, 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 certificates. These aren't promissory notes, y'all. Let me let me get. We're gonna these get are this, certificates. We're gonna get this real close so people can understand this. These are silver certificates. Man, I, I, I should have kept mine. See that? Let's turn it this way, y'all. See that silver certificate? That's what it's supposed to have. That's what you're supposed to have. They're silver guaranteed. The, the big bricks, in the, that's the silver. See that middle, right in the middle, that's some gold. Hold on, let me see if I got mine with me. Yeah. There it is. The silver, baby. Before I know y'all gonna do that, I'll buy mine. Boy, you supposed to carry it with you, brother. What's wrong with you, man? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Supposed to carry that with you. Here you go. I'm flipping around. I got some more right there. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know they was upside down. Boom. Boom. So we're gonna pull this silver out right here. This is and this is what people are operating under. Hold up. Let me show y'all this. Federal Reserve note. That's a Federal Reserve note. I'm going to show y'all something. I want y'all to see this real quick. You see this? Federal Reserve note. This is not money. This is a silver certificate. But let me show you how slick this government did, what they did. Look at this. Peep this $20 bill, right? On a $20 bill, what do y'all see inside this $20 bill? Let's look at it real good. Keep it look like they tried to put a little smidget of gold up in there. You see a smidget of gold? Do you see the silver? Mm-hmm. The silver. It's silver and gold inside mm -hmm. the 20s. Mm-hmm. The gold right there. The silver's in there. That's right. So they trying to tell y'all something. They trying right. to go back. They trying to go back to this. Huh? So what they doing, they trying to get everybody Failers. to go back. Slowly Failers. but shortly. But people are sleeping. Oh, there you go. Ho, ho, ho. Look. Do y'all see it? Y'all get a chance. Try to read what's back there, too. Oh, yeah, read that part. You got to try to read what's on that, hundred, on that hundred uh, note. The only, only one that they never changed in government, just think about it. Out of all the bills, what was the only one they never changed? Out of all the bills. Oh, that dollar. Why? <laughs> Anybody know why? Um, no, 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 no. Well, that's we a, that's a this, dollar bill. Right? We talking about this. It's well, like a light bill. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's saying it something is owed to someone. One girl in Virginia, a college student in Virginia, when they first started changing the 20s and the 5s and the 10s, mm -hmm. she asked why they never changed this. Okay. What, if you can probably look it up. Mm -hmm. It was a girl in Virginia, I believe Virginia State University, and they it got hush-hush hmm. because these two makes one. It's two governments on here. That's right. The president sits underneath for this. This is ours. This is the great seal. There it is. His feds, bend down, has the holes that you could put a quarter in each and every last one of these. You see those holes in there? Each one can have a hole sit a quarter there on the top. That is your also your four cardinal points. There it is. Your fire, your earth, your air, your water. Your winter, your summer, your spring, your fall, your north, your south, your east, your west. And that's why the Pope even called the cardinal. He's giving you his cardinal points. That's right. It ain't got nothing to do with religion, people. It's your stuff. That's yours. You just don't know it's yours. It's yours. He said, man, I'm being real, dude. This is yours, brother. My father passed away. We sat, we sat, in, a, in, a, we sat in a cemetery for like an hour. Taj and I, we was in a rain with feds on at my father's funeral. Building with the priest in the terrible. cemetery, the demand. priest was like, well, it was six of us had fed me on, carrying my father's coffin. So we are sitting in the cemetery talking to the priest, and Todd, you know, Todd gets to going. Todd gets to going. We, it's raining out. We standing in the rain. Todd, we going in about the cardinal points, the priest, the Catholic, the Catholicistic, and all this. Man, it was sick. This building in the rain. That's dedication. And my father's been going for like 13, 12, 13 years. That's how long it's been. In the rain. But everyone knows who we are but us. But, but us. we'll keep fighting as if we're talking about joining a boys club or a fraternity. No, we're not talking about a boys club or a fraternity. We're talking about this is time now for us to start waking up. 
Right. Ain't no more games, baby. Because the Europeans preparing. They plan 10 to 20 years ahead of time. Right. While we plan for tomorrow. Matter Actually, to, to be right and exact on it, according to the King Alfred plan, mm -hmm. there they must be 30 mm -hmm. steps ahead of us. Yeah. Mm. That's why the steps. computer system changes so often. Because mm. there was a test that happened to to, there's tests that happens to catch your reaction. Yes, they do. It's, they it's, 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 it's how fast you catch your vibrations and things of that nature. Oh there's tests yes. to catch you. to, And they sit back when you all you go into them air shows, boom, the big jet go through and they see, oh, well, they didn't respond. They just chill. Oh, it took them about five seconds before they noticed the jet was there. Ooh. See, they do those type of tests and then they implement that type of size into the computer system. But this is what that the book called the hacking of American mind. Do you ever see you ever see the book I put up there? The book is called the hacking of America's mind. Mm -hmm. And what they did, they brought up Snapchat. That's right. They brought up Facebook. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, brought up yeah. um, all the stuff that people work with. This is corporate America. They said it's right. about money making. Right. So they said they see they, they test your reactions to something. <laughs> and this is now why when you Google something, it automatically pops up on your Facebook feed. Right. But the book <laughs> called The Hacking of American Mind, right. everybody should go get that book. I'm dead serious. You can get right. it. Like, it's in there about how these are people who work for Facebook. Right. These are people who work for Snapchat. Right. We're telling you the reaction. But we're not going to pick those books up because acquiring minds don't want to know that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They don't want to know. Amplification of energy sources. See, in, in the King Alfred plan, they break down to how what they had to do was take the 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 data you know they would get they get a, a nail wrap it around with with with, a, with copper slam the hammer on it see how fast the vibration made the rat what it, what it did to the rat then they took that test and then they applied it to you and then once they seen how fast you respond to something then they put it into the computer to keep now that's why most of us are into technology or they, they it's by law to keep you away from that because just like in the uh, Willie Lynch, you said, he said, now hold on now, be careful. Because if you give them about 300 years, they will come back. Mm -hmm. they, have a, they have it in them to, their, their, their level for survival is like no other. That's what they say about mm -hmm. us. So that's, a, that's applied in here. So they have to stay 30 steps ahead of you. So when they made the gas go up not too long ago, and everybody, yep. did, did nobody pay attention to it. All we did was just go buy gas and, and gas cans. Yep. Man, you better yep. fill it up. Yep. Ain't gonna be no gas for a long time. Yep. That was that was this right here. But they did. But they do this all the time. Yeah. They do. They can say. And now the, the gas now it just burns fast. It burns fast. Ever since wow. then, the gas burns fast. Wow. I they, thought I was always going this. And now you're not doing one yeah. it, Your gas is burning super wow. fast. Super fast. I use the fan. Wow. And it's good. It's instant. It's like. They would just get rid of all of what they had, making you think you're the shortage. Get rid of it, and then start this new process. They're not gonna ask what's in this new gas. They're gonna think it's still the same gas. Yeah, people think the gas is different. I'm gonna get premium in my car. <laughs> it's same gas, baby. Same but gas. they can sit up here and say that there's a bomb in a certain area, and everybody has to vacate their houses because of, and everybody would leave. Mm -hmm. right. And what these people would do is go inside your house. They do it. See, people don't think, when you're doing a movie, mm -hmm. you have to research everything. Right. They have to when they're reading scripts about something, they have to go research this stuff and get into it. Like Denzel got into Malcolm X. He started speaking like Malcolm. You ever hear him talk about it? He said, "Man, I started talking like Malcolm at one time." <laughs> they thought it was Malcolm X because you have to get into the character. Right, right. So what right. happens in these movies? They have to study everything about it. So they'll say there's a bomb in the area. And everybody leave their houses free willy. Right. And then what happened? They'll come in your house and they say, "Now we looking for everybody that got guns." Right. You didn't have guns, right? You ain't have a gun license. So now they're going to get everybody that has a gun. Call you about a week later. Say you got to come down to the FBI headquarters for what? You follow me? Didn't you have this in your house? Didn't they have this in your house? These people do this 24/7, man. They do it to some of these conscious dudes, and I keep telling them, you have to be very careful. How many dudes you seen in his social media? like Umar, and people get mad at me. I said, no, they set Umar up. Mm -hmm. But he didn't catch that he was being set up on a Roland Martin show when Roland Martin is a damn journalist. Mm -hmm. When Roland Martin has a team that go out and do research, this is what they do to people. Right, so right. what happens now when they confront you with it and put it up there and say, look, didn't you say this? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Wait a minute, let's play the tape. 
Bam, they put it right up, they say, there it is, right there. Did you see that? See what I'm saying? Right. This is what they do 24-7 with our people. That's why I say you have to be very careful about what you're putting on Facebook and YouTube. Right. If it's not factual, if you're not a, a thorough journalist, because you can't put garbage out unless you're really trying to mislead somebody. But if you're a real journalist and you put something out false, right. they sue you for that defamation. And some some of them are very careful about what they put out there right. because they know that they can be sued if they put this information mm -hmm. out. Right. It's very tricky. Mm -hmm. That's right. so go ahead, brother. You go ahead, Freddie. If the rise, if the rise of the lower class can be postponed long enough, the elite can achieve energy dominance, and labor by consent no longer will hold a position of essential economic energy source. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Mm. I'm gonna go back. The next step in this process of designing an economic amplifier is discovering the energy source. The energy sources which support any primitive economic system are, of course, a supply of raw materials and the consent of the people. The consent of the people. Mm -hmm. Bam! The consent of the people. But minors can't give their consent. That's right. Right. Minor right now, or minority. Yeah, want to give them a minority? Yeah. Let's give them a minority real minority. quick out of law dictionary. Minority is the state or condition of a minor. Infancy. Infancy. Opposite of majority. C minor. That's state. it. Hold on. Repeat that again. State. <clears throat> the state or condition of a minor. Infancy. Opposite of majority. C minor. C minor. I'm glad he read that right because it yeah, says C minor. minor. Yeah, so C minor. minor have nothing to do with a number of people. It's talking about your mentality. Yeah, yeah. It's like a child. Right. And you have grown folks calling us to be minority. Did you want to say something, sir? No, I was going to say he's going to go read yeah. minor. Too. Go ahead. Go read minor, minor now. An infant or person who is under the age of legal competence, a term derived from the civil law which described a person under a certain age as less than so many years. In most states, a person is no longer a minor after reaching the age of 18. See also delinquent child, infancy, juvenile, legal age, majority. So also, competency. So you can be grown and be a child. Right. You could be a grown behind person, but your mindset is like a child. Just look right. at half of these grown people on TV. That's, That's all right. you gotta do. That's right. So you gotta do is look at them. Right. It's not hidden. The energy source will support any primitive economic system or, of course, supply of raw materials, the consent of the people to labor, and consec uh, consequently assume a certain rank, position, level, or class in the social structure. An example, to provide labor at various levels in the pecking order. Each class is guaranteeing its own level of income, controls the class immediately below it, hence preserves the class structure. This provides stability and security, but also government from the top. I don't think y'all understood what that's saying right Say there. Say that again, bro. They ain't get it. Each class is guaranteeing its own level of income. Mm. Controls the class immediately below it. Hence, preserves the class structure. This provides stability and security, but also government from the top. As the time goes on and communications and educations improve, the lower class element of social labor structure become knowledgeable and envious of the good things that the upper class members may have. They also begin to attain a knowledge of energy systems and the ability to enforce their rays through the class structure. Basically saying, you're gonna be comfortable not having any anything. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going on right yeah. now. And then you're going to see others having something, and you're going to get envious of them. Say, why they got something and I don't? But you're not going to do anything to change it. No, they're going to no, they march, brother. They, you, that's what you're going to do. We're going to march. And, and, gonna, and when you do that, when you when you start marching, of course, not my, not more talk. I'm sorry. This is 11490. Yeah, say that again. When you start marching, 11490 says that when you start marching, first they got to send out the preachers. Mm -hmm. And then the, the preachers, preachers. got to hook up with the state and then the state got to hook up with the feds. And then when the president announces that it's a, a, a certain <laughs> level of threat, then the next step happens. So when y'all see this on TV, and we get to we can sit here and tell you exactly what's going to happen next. It's not that we just think we know the future. It was written. But marching, you need a permit. 
but protesting you don't people don't get this there's two different things that people don't know marching and protesting are two different things yeah. when you're going to protest you're going to protest marching you have to get a permit to mm -hmm. march and that's why even when you study malcolm mm -hmm. if you listen to malcolm he said they told you what time to get in dc mm -hmm. and what time to get the hell out of dc that's what malcolm said what time to leave and what time to what time to right. come in and what time to leave so right. marching you to permit protesting you don't right. these are words again you got to look up this threatens the sovereignty of the elite if the rise of the lower classes can be postponed long enough the elite can achieve energy dominance and labor by consent no longer will hold a position of essential economic energy source so basically saying for a while for a while we're gonna need you we're gonna need you if it's too cold everybody cold everybody good if it's, it's basically for, we're gonna need your consent for a while yeah Y'all just gonna hand it over, sign it, and give it up. But after you get conditioned and you done signed it over and gave it up long enough, it don't matter. I don't care if you wake up, try to fight back, it's too late. Right. I already got you. You already gave it up. That's what that means. Until such energy dominance is absolutely established, the consent of people to labor and let and let others handle their affairs must be taken into consideration since failure to do so could cause the people to interfere in the final transfer of energy. The final transfer of energy. But to who? To the elite. elite. Yeah. So they saying, I'm going to give it to you in, 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 in a code. They say, mum's the word. Mum's the word. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if it's broken, they don't know it's broke. Don't fix it. <laughs> you dig? Yeah. They don't know it's broke. Mm. You get where I'm coming from, right? We have to we have to understand and comprehend the concept of what's going on. See, because they once the the sovereignty of the elite gets threatened, but then the, the, it's another level of game that's gonna step up. So it is essential to recognize that at this time, public consent is still an essential key to the release of energy in the process of economic amplifica uh, amplification. Therefore, consent as an energy release me mechanism will now be considered. Logistics. The successful application of a strategy requires a careful study of inputs, outputs, the strategy of connecting the inputs and the outputs and available energy sources to fuel the strategy. This study is called logistics. A logistical problem is studied at the elementary level first, and then levels of greater complexity are studied as a synthesis of elementary factors. Now we talking about grown, they talking about handling, uh, this, this is poor, let me read the cover. This executive order was authorized October of 1959 to contract the minority, mm -hmm. blacks, Indians, Latinos, Puerto Ricans, and poor whites. The minorities. Does minorities have anything to do with numbers? We just went over that. No. no. We no. Went over that. It does not have anything to do with numbers. Talk about how you think. And I think you, if you're a minority, you must be thinking small. <laughs> this executive order was for the blacks, Indians, Latinos, Puerto Ricans, and poor whites. The minority. So when we go back to this here, about the logistics at the first level is that elementary factors. So they let you know that the minority is thinking at an elementary level. I thought, that, I thought, well, us that study, we know elementary, we should be taught the elements of life. Mm. But that's not what's being, that's not what's going on in uh, the school. At, at these schools. But we have to remember what these schools are. See, some of y'all, especially down here in, in this area, man, we have what we call the missions. So when you go to the missions, you understand what the missions were. It was it was for secularization, to secularize you. What was the mission? To get you to think differently, to mm -hmm. take your land. When you send your children to those schools, that's the same mission. Same school. Mm -hmm. Same system. Same system. From the time a person leaves his mother's womb, it is every it is his every effort is directed towards building, maintaining, and withdrawing into artificial wounds. 
various sorts of substitute protective devices or shells. The objective of these artificial wounds is to provide a stable environment for both stable and unstable activity, to provide a shelter for the evolutionary process of growth and maturity. An example, survival. To provide security for freedom and to provide defensive protection for offensive activity. This is equally true of both the general public and the elite. However, there is a definitive difference in the way each of these classes go about the solution of problems. So they know the elite can handle it this way, the others handle it this way. The artificial wound, what, is that, what does that have to do with today? As soon as you come out of your mother, something happens to you. There's some documentations that go out. You start living in a whole different <laughs> capacity. Yep. You not there's two ways, and I say it all the time, there's two ways that, you're gonna, that you can live on this earth. You got natural law, and you got social status. You have natural law, you have social status. Natural law, in constitutional words, will say life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Social contract. Got social security number? Birth certificate. When you get in trouble, are you appointed a lawyer? Rights, you have the rights and privileges. Pr and more privileges than anything. Yeah. And it's a whole list of them. Because you are not, you don't know how to handle your own affairs. You know, Prophet No Drill, he said that every man is entitled to his own deeds. Every man should handle his own deeds. Right. But see, we we not some of us that's under this social status. We have no idea what it means to handle your, to be in charge of your own deeds. Nope. You know, we'll, we'll go buy a house and we'll wait, wait for some, uh, first of all, you're going to buy a house, but anyway, you're going to buy the house and then you wait for somebody else to turn in your deed for you. True that. And then when they turn in the deed for you, if you if you have any education of how to look up to see if the deed has ever been posted up for you, you post it up, you have no idea of a uh, warranty deed. I'm going to tell you right now, warranty deed, what does it mean? <coughs> warranty deed means as is, as is, it may be some inclusions in this in this in this uh in this contract that you don't know nothing about. Caveat imperator, let the buyer be aware. Mm. Caveat imperator, the buyer be aware. You have to be aware of what you're doing. We taught that Prophet Noble Jill Lee teaches that at all times. Caveat Infantor kicks in. Because we we vanguards of this movement. And we know we know th those that have traveled along the way. So as you travel along the way, you start to see these things. You start to see the artificial wounds. You start seeing the logistics. You start seeing the people that are voluntarily and giving consent and getting handing their life over. There's a difference in the status, in the mind frame. We're taught that there's four levels of citizenship. See, we ask the wrong questions sometimes. Sometimes we ask the question we talk. We say, are you a citizen? Are you a citizen? Are you a citizen? Well, I'm gonna tell you who a citizen is. The only one that could be a citizen in this United States of America is a European male. That's it. Not even his wife, not even the woman. She could marry him, be his property. No disrespect, I'm just talking law. And some of these so-called blacks act like that too, that their woman is their property. That's right. You ever hear these dudes talk about that? That's my property. That's my property. Well, you don't even own yourself. That's right. You know. Four four classes of citizenship. You hear my words, right? Of citizenship. Yeah, that first one is true. what? National. The second one is a citizen. The third one is a subject. What subject? I don't know. The fourth one is an alien. Anybody ever got in trouble? If you get in trouble, caught a case, any kind of thing. Did they send you to Africa? Did yeah, you go to you Africa? You never deport no African American. Yeah. You went to Africa? The North Cape. No. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's stupid. You know, he said, he said, are they deporting? Are they deporting? Are they deporting people to call themselves African Americans? And that's a no. valid question. Like. Why don't they deport no one that's called himself African American? Why don't they deport? They'll deport a Jamaican, a Haitian, Trinidad, anybody else, right? But you're African American, they never deport you. They never deport you. Maybe I need to do that one day. I'm, I'm just, maybe I'll just call myself African American, see if they deport me. I'm just, could y'all deport me? Oh, where you want to go back to? I want to go back to, let me go back to, let me think. 
Huh? Ice coming. Are you gonna tell him that's from here? That's from Africa. Ice, yeah, ice, yeah. African ice. <laughs> No, but <laughs> really, dude. Ice. Like, I might say Ethiopia. <laughs> I might say Morocco. I'm, right. gonna, I'm gonna do something stupid one day. Y'all might hear about. Well, it. I've done it. I'm, I'm, I'm deport me, Morocco. man. I'm gonna say deport me. Put Morocco on the table, but guess what they did? Open the door and told me get out of here. So I guess what they did? They let me go in Morocco. Y'all need yeah. to ask these people this question seriously. Why they don't deport people of color, some African Americans? Y'all should ask them. That really, question. really, the reason that you don't get deported because you're indigenous to this damn land. You are American. Yep. To be American means that you are. Let me see if I could say this correctly. Is uh, I'm a Rook. I'm a Rook, which is an ancient Berber term for land of the West. Land of the West means Morocco, Morocco, Al Morocco. So when you get in trouble oh, here, you African Americans, and they let you go here because they let you go on your own land. They let you go in. Al Morocco. They let you go in Morocco. Right. But you have no idea that you're standing on Morocco. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. That's what that means. You dig? Right. Right. Some of them get nationalized. Talk to me. I can give it to Brother Farouk. People from Africa. Oh, yeah. Whatever. We get nationalized, they, they, right? Well, people, that's what you said. You said the key thing. You said people from Africa. See, people from Africa come and over in these parts would probably be naturalized. Yeah, that's what they do, naturalized. They, they'll get naturalized, but they're not going to get nationalized. Nah. They'll get naturalized. That's a different. Right, right. Not nationalized. No, no. See, to be naturalized is, 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 is a, we'll use the term to be naturalized and go into the same form is to be, uh, to be civilized. I gotta get from you. Know, See, to be civilized is to be taught the ways. You know, I, I know that book like the top of my head. I know it's in there. You see where I marked it? Excuse me. Yeah, but you don't know me yet. <laughs> you don't know, know him yet. You just don't know him. How we drifted God. away from the truth. How then did the education of the, of the Negro take such a trend? The people who maintained schools for the education of certain Negroes before the Civil War were certainly sincere. And so were the missionary workers who went south to enlighten for freedmen after the results of that conflict had given the Negroes a new status. The mm. Negroes a new status. And that's in the Miseducation of the Negro was written in 1920. Yes, yeah, that's the third chapter. Right that's right, it. chapter three. How we drifted away from the earth. These earnest workers, however, had more enthusiasm than knowledge. They did not understand the task before them. This undertaking too was more of an effort towards social uplift than actual education. We shall overcome. Come on, y'all gotta sing it, the Negro spiritual, y'all. Let's sing the Negro spiritual up in this church, man. Wow. The freemen who were to wow. be enlightened were giving little thought. For the best friends of the race, ill taught themselves, followed the traditional curriculum of the times which did not take the Negro into consideration except to condemn them or to pity him. That got, that's a lot for you uh, college-educated people. But you know, he has two of them. You have the education, you have the education of the Negro and the miseducation of the Negro. He has two different. Right. He has the educated one, too. The, the educated Negro right. is crazy as hell, too. That's right. He has two different ones. Uh, the college, uh, when they have, what's those, the letters that have to come behind the college? It'll Kappa say, Phi Sigma Beta Hater Meta? Not them, not them, but the, it'll say, uh, Q dogs. <laughs> Sorry, no, like, like they say it's a, a, a ATM or whatever. It, it is basically to teach you how to be a better farmer, how to teach you to be a better oh, irrigator. Oh, like Texas A&M, agricultural and mechanical there we go. universities. Those schools were set up to ba basically after the Freedmen Bureaus and all of that, those were set up to teach you to be a better Negro. Yes, it was. That's all it was. Even Howard University. When to you teach you to be a better Negro. If you look up Howard University, Howard University was called, and anybody can research this, seriously, it was called the Institute to Train Free Blacks to Be Preachers and Teachers. That's right. It was, it was General Oliver Howard, which is Howard University, it was mm -hmm. called to train. You don't train human beings, you right. train animals. Right. But it was to train free blacks to be preachers and teachers. And right. all of these colleges basically were slave owners, and cats keep bragging about them. If you right. do the research on the colleges, they are really um, slave owners or ex-slave owners. Of the colleges, especially up there, Howard. Um, Hell yeah, and people brag they about it. Like a big plantation. Hey, what about Morehouse? They brag about it. <laughs> that, I, I didn't do the research, but I'm pretty sure it is. It is. 
I'm yeah. pretty every last one of these colleges, and this is why you only learn about Greek philosophy majority of the time. Right. In the schools, nothing about the Moors' history inside there. And if they teach about the Moors, it was the Moors that conquered Spain. That's all right. you would hear in the college yeah, that right. we conquered something. No. <coughs> If you study history, this is the article, and I meant to make some copies for you, but if you got a machine in here, okay. you can make it. All this right. article was from 1939, 39, 37. And it was talking about Spain, how the Moors were the original people of Spain. Langston Hughes wrote this in 1930s about, we know that Spain once belonged to the Moors, a brown people or black people. This is That's what he was right. saying in the article. So Langston Hughes wrote this but you don't hear no college talking about this. Right. In 1930. So, so but, and to add on to what my big brother just said, man, I want to give y'all some homework that's, 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 that's tuning in right now. Because we're talking about Spain. Right now, get your phone, get your, your computers, and look up New Spain. Mm. New Spain. N-E-W. Oh, that's here. Spain. Yeah, that's look here. up New we Spain. We are here. We are See, whenever... They would take over someone's area of land. They would they would they would coin and put the the, the term new on it. Mm -hmm. I got another one for you. What's older, Mexico or New Mexico? Oh, well, I'm gonna wait a second. What's older? What's older, Mexico or New Mexico? Neither another one. Mexico because they were one. New Mexico. New Mexico. New Mexico is the oldest. Santa Fe, established mm. Mm, about 15, 1580s, 1590s, somewhere up in there, the 1500s, when that, when that uh, uh, New Mexico came about. Now, Mexico came about latter 1800s. So, so we, that's a misconception. What you got to understand is that what the, the land that we call Mexico is what we is actually the the uh, the Aztecan Empire which the Aztecan Empire connects to the Moorish Empire, mm -hmm. you see? So when they talk about coming down and they're, they're fighting and, and conquering Mexico, they're not talking about the Mexico that you know today. They're talking <coughs> about that little piece of land that's still deserted to this day called New Mexico. New Mexico was established 1500s. Mexico established latter 1800s. So when I ask the question, where's New Spain? Right here. That's right here, the land that your feet are on. But see, since it was conquered, see, it was divided. Well, we to take out this mighty, mighty Moorish empire, it took it took a force. It took three of them to come together. It took three forces. Yep. It wasn't just one that popped up. No, they tried, 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 tried. I think the closest they got was that goddamn me, Charles the Hammer and his people. Charles Martel, 731, 732. Charles the Hammer. He That's right. He the one that put the hammer down on the Moors. That's right. And then Queen Isabella and Ferdinand came in that took over what the, he already done. Right. He, he's a Frenchman. So they, it, it took a power force. It took three of them to, 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 to take out this mighty, mighty Moors empire. So us that's right here up in this, what we call that dirty side, that line right there, see, that's where, where that's the, the, what they call the Spanish. Then from... Uh, uh, my, my brothers and sisters that's in Louisiana and all up there, that's your French. And then all up top of there, on top of them, you have your uh, your northerners. That was your, uh, your your colonials. So the conquistadors is what took over, which, which conquered our land down here. Now, same clique, you got to understand that. They just came together, just like if you talk about the the uh, 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 the, the Tripoli Wars, the treaties of Tripoli. Those All three of those treaties go together. To a plot when we when we when we utilize those trees because those are our people. So it's the same thing when you talk about the French, the, the Brit, and the, the German, whatever, they all coming together to fight you. So where's New Spain? Right here. Right here. Was that before the original name before was already added the, the borderline? Institute. The, and, and it was called the, the Institute to Train Free Blacks to be preachers and teachers. Too, That's all you gotta do is Google it. His name was General Oliver Howard. Just, just look him up. You know, General I mean, Oliver Howard. The borders. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the, 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 the uh, right. Now, the, was, yeah. this, was that before Before then? What you getting for these? And then they started, because that's when they started naming. Right. And started, you know, started upside down. Right. He said it's a right. distress. It's a distress. That's what he said it's upside right. down. Distress. 
Okay, people. The stress. So right. People keep asking me that. Mm-hmm. Johnny, come make these on here. Keep asking me about why is the star upside down. You are in distress. Did you know that you at war every time you wake up, people? Good God. <laughs> you what? at war. To give you to give you a lot of what y'all probably need to do some homework on, on, on the flag. You probably need to you need to study the flag because there's a pretty soon there's gonna be other flags hung. See what see what y'all don't understand about this right here? That's the flag of the sun. See, when that matriarch hangs her flag, are you going to know then? Mm. Because to be honest with you, that flag should be upside down until the matriarch hangs her flag. Sure. Sure is good. So it shall be upside down until that matriarch hangs her flag. Meaning that those sons are ready to go and back that matriarch. I'm talking to you mother sons out there. So you got to understand what's going on. See, see, some of us say uh, 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 there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his, is his messenger. But what you don't understand is that Allah is Allah. And Allah is a fe- feminine principle. So to be the feminine principle means that there is no God. Oh, hold up. I said that too. Listen, I said the only God I knew was my mother. People think I'm crazy. There it is. There is no God but Allah and Muhammad. Is a messenger, oh, and I'm been delivering been this been message. Been with those, with those lessons, brother. You understand? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm bringing that. I'm trying to raise us up. See, because yes. some of us are in such a, in such a, a dogmatic level. We're at a dogmatic level that we're not making our universal connections. We're giving our power away instead of claiming our power. We don't understand. We say, well, why don't you eat the flesh? Because Prophet Muhammad said not to. But why did he tell you not to? Because you have more common sense than that. You come from the mother. Why are you eating it? Why are you killing your mother? That's the, it's the same thing. So you have to understand. That's why we're taught to study the, 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 the history of words. That's why etymology is so important. Etymon, baby, all day. So when you when you understand the importance of that, well, then when I say illa, you know that that is a female principle, a feminine principle. I have two nipples just like a woman, but mine don't produce milk. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Here you go. Pass that back to my big brother. Well, some of these brothers do have breast now, y'all. Y'all gotta <laughs> <laughs> hey, Every time I got tits. Hey, man, ain't talking about, talking about, I'm talking about his tits. Some of y'all do. Some of them got breasts, bro. What's up, homes? Hey, for, for everybody, anybody that's tuning in real quick, man, we talk, you know, there's certain things that you would need. You know, sometimes we man, what I need to do? What I need to do? Yes. Man, I want to become active. You know, I want to, man, I want to study. Yes. You know, how can I cross-reference some of this information to make sure that, you know, that I'm right and exact? So some of the first things you need to do, you know, uh, for one, you need an unabridged dictionary, 1936. Right there, you need to look at the definition of American. That'll well, get your I brain going. I got it in here, man. I got it right here, too. Hit him with I, it, King. I, I, I can show them <laughs> real quick. This is, I'm showing them the article, Ohio newspaper. All right, all right. This but so this is, wait a minute, did I put it in here? Yes, I did. I know I did. Here it goes. This is what he's talking about right here. Let me sh- I'm going to read it off, then I'm, even though I know it. Okay. It's the aboriginal. The primal. America is the aboriginal, one of the various copper-colored natives found in the American continent by the Europeans, the original application of the name. The definition of America. That's right. right. So this is the definition of America right there. That's the definition of America. And that's why he said you must have an unabridged dictionary. That's right. Found on the American continent by the European, not the white man, not the white man, the European. So that means if they come and do business, they need a document to do business with. That's right? why I said they they immigrants. Europeans are immigrants. So they would need a constitution. They need a green card, bro. <laughs> that's right. They need green cards, baby. Second, you need a Henry Campbell's Black Law Dictionary, fourth edition. One, two, three, four. Right here we have a six. We got. I'm gonna show you how this six. We got that six. Couple, don't we have got some a, discrepancies in it. I'm just gonna let you know that right now. We got a couple of them laying around somewhere. Okay, but we still we still pull it out. Black Law Dictionary. There's yeah, some truth in there. Oh, but you know, I don't, I don't care if you forget the first. You still need to go and cross reference everything. But that's a Black Law Dictionary Deluxe. 
you get your Henry Campbell, Henry Campbell's Black Law Dictionary. Understand, when we say Henry yes, Campbell I'm Black's agree. Law Dictionary, that does not mean the dictionary for blacks. That's not what we mean. That's, yeah. that, that is the gentleman's name. We get told, oh, so y'all go to the, y'all going to the Europeans' books to define and say your law. Look, man, what we're trying to tell you is that there's legalities being placed upon you. But you keep getting they black. Every, every type of, of uh, legal aid, lawyer, attorney, they all read dictionary. You have Valentine's, Black's Law, Bouvier's, Valentine's, Black's Law, Bouvier's, Black Stone. All of them are law dictionaries. That's right. That's right. All of them. Valentine's, Black's Law, Bouvier's, Bouvier's and Black's Law. But you also have Corpus Juris Secondum, American Jurisprudence, in words and phrases. So when people say that y'all reading from a white man's book, it's not, and some people think it's a black person's book because it's Henry Campbell Black. Right. No. Anybody that's in law school has these law books. Right. Anyone who's in law school has these books. I wish that brother was here. That was the attorney. Uh, the attorney brother? I wish he came today. Man, um, my bad, my bad. I wish he would have came today, <laughs> man. <coughs> next yeah. time, though. I'll, next time, though. We, we. Oh, he got some stories to tell, too. He got stories? Yeah, so, real quick, my bad. He, he, he said he was in the court the other day, right? <laughs> Check it out. So he's saying he's in attorney, court, he's and uh, he says the judge just said something that was totally just incorrect, just false. And everybody sat there looking at the judge like just dumbfounded, but he didn't want to say anything, but he was just like surprised and shocked. But it had already went back to what I was telling them about. They fraudulent anyhow, you know what I'm saying? They don't, you know what I mean? And he just sitting there, and he's witnessing this stuff, and he, and he tripped out too. At this point, I'm going to let him tell y'all. Wow. Well, like somebody said... They don't even honor their laws and treaties. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Y'all think they don't honor their laws and treaties. You think. Yes, they do. Only ignorant people say stuff like they don't honor them because yes, you do. don't know. And this is what kills me about our people. They'll say we got to hold their feet to the fire. We got to hold. How you want to hold someone accountable for something that you don't even know what they're supposed to be doing? There you go. And that's why these things are happening. So when stuff comes as we're speaking, and even with Brother Taj and I, when we trying to tell people this stuff, we're not making this up. We're saying, well, bring your attorneys on a platform with us and let's have this dialogue. Right. They running scared. Right. They don't want to have this in the open. Right. So when people say they're not respecting and honoring, no, you're not. If you study law, their job is only to protect it. That's, it. That's all, is to protect what's being put out. Right. It ain't to do nothing else. Right. You're supposed to enforce the law. This is why in the Constitution it says, Anytime a government becomes, it's a declaration of independence. Mm -hmm. It says anytime a government becomes destructive to its ends, it is the right of the people to alter, to alter it, it and to abolish it and right. institute a new, new one. Right. So I didn't write that. So why are we not moving out on that? Mm -hmm. It is, oh, he said that broke their treaty. This, they ain't break no treaty with no Moors, baby. Stop. Stop. They didn't. The black folks are the ones. That's why Todd always say, go to your Negro leader guys. If you hear Brother Todd say, go to your Negro leader guys, the ones that you see on radio and TV that don't want Brother Todd or myself up there. So go ask them that question. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So they didn't break anything. So if you go back and read this Declaration of Independence in Philadelphia, you can buy these for $9.95 right. in Philadelphia. Mm. I bought eight of them for $9.95. Different ones, right? Mm -hmm. In here it says any time a gov any time a government become destructive to its end, it is the right of the people to alter and to abolish it, institute a new one. Right. Why aren't you on why they not on radio or TV talking about this? Right. But you keep crying about marching, Black Lives Matter, boycott the NFL, boycott Starbucks. We got all these Negroes that they keep putting up there, like you said earlier, it's the preachers, right. it's the ministers, it's all these people that it's the athletes that they putting up there. Right. Nobody with common sense. Nobody is basically thinking critically mm -hmm. or with logic. With logic. This is why <coughs> we're getting beat up. It ain't because <coughs> they're not honoring it. Right. We're not honoring it. There you go. That's what's going on. We're not honoring it at all. We'll, 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 we'll fight to say that that treaty don't apply to us. You know, that's not real. Yeah. Uh, why would, why? Most of us, most of us, would be, if I... If I told you that you was a Moroccan, you, boy, please, 
you you expecting to see a, uh, I'll be going Jesus. <laughs> you know, someone of, a, of what we call a, of a Arabic descent when you, when you hear Moroccan or something. Listen, brother, a brother told me in Oakland, when I go to Morocco, he said, bro, I'm going to take you where the dark people at, the original people at. That's right. Not the ones that you see. He said, I'm going right. to take you where the dark ones at. My too. brother Yassin was down there. Most mm -hmm. was in Morocco. Mm -hmm. But they never show you the brothers look dark as hell. There, they are the original. That's people. what I want to see too, because I watched that. Oh, I'm doing it live. When I go over there, brother. I'm going live. Mm -hmm. or I might not even go live. I might just record everything. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm gonna go live. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just record because mm -hmm. I'm going to Morocco in Spain. Okay. Morocco and Ethiopia, I meant to say. Okay. Five days and five days, but I'm I'm gonna just film everything. Mm -hmm. I'm not just gonna go live. I'm just film. I'm going to to the the land <laughs> formerly known as Absini. Hold up. He said we don't have the force to make them honor it. Listen. That's a weak ass, weak ass comment. Excuse. Boy, weak. I'm being real with y'all. Negroes with the. Tell no worry about it. I keep doing what I do. I keep doing. What no, I no, do. no, 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 bro. Don't, because don't it kills me with niggas. You put that out there. That's like I say. I don't try. We don't try nothing. You do. Right. Try is a curse word. Right. How the hell are you gonna say we don't have the force? Yes, the hell we do have it. Mm -hmm. Maybe we need to eat right to get it right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Eat right to get it right and stop. Right. I don't limit myself for nothing. Right. Anytime something get hard and rough, I'm going to keep fighting, baby, and I'm going right. to prove to you. And this right. is why I always say they could bring their best their attorneys, mm -hmm. and let's have a platform, put up some money there. Mm -hmm. and let's have this platform, and let's make them do it. Right. You follow me? Let's right. say, okay, now if we're wrong in what we're saying, mm -hmm. embarrass us on platform. Right. Embarrass right. us. Let, let me, let me Come on, man. Tip for that, brother. See, what it is is that in governmental principles, see, see, you have a seat in government, but what you're looking for is a seat in their government. See, you have a government that you are part of. It's called a de jure government, okay? And that de jure government is, is what you are part of. You have to, to take your place into the affairs of men. When you take your place into these affairs, then you will see, you'll have the power, you'll see the keys, you'll see the tools to implement and to enforce your treaty. And whatever else, because it was your people that wrote the treaty. If you see the seal on the treaty, the seal is on the top of it, showing authority. But you you have no concept of that. Thank you. You're coming from a you're coming from a negative perspective. You're thinking like a Negro. Yeah, you you know what you write. They're not gonna honor anything to no Negro. Nope. A Negro has no rules that any man is bound to respect. He's never built anything. He's never accomplished That's anything language, right? but That's death and destruction. Oh, yeah. This is this is what the brother said now. Your affirmation, where are the Moors making them do it? All these black, even these people that's on national TV and radio are more. <laughs> Point blank, period. Don't separate. The people that you're watching, that you go see every day, Ricardo, are Moors. So what happens, we are not on the forefront because, number one, we don't have the finances to do it. And those that do have the knowledge are not on radio and television like that. So you can get behind us and then put us there, and then you'll see. Because we have an army, rather people know it or not. We have an army that's out here. But y'all call them gangbangers, y'all don't go to the hood and right. talk to them. Because that's the army right there. Right. Say that again? Huh? Say that again, bro? Put the boys on the map. See? We got them, baby. They just need the knowledge. That's why I love that movie, The Stick Up Kid. You yeah. know what I've seen the movie The Stick Up Kid with Hawthorne James? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Huh? You never saw that? No. When he talked about the Moors? <laughs> in the yeah, movie? He was like, you a white man. What did he say? He you said, yeah. Hawthorne James, the actor, Big Red, he said, oh, y'all yeah, keep trying to go to Africa looking for yourself when this was yours. So what yeah. happens, the movie was called Stick Up Kids. I'm in my yeah. hood. In my hood, mm -hmm. where, the, where the thugs at, where the killers at, where I grew up at, mm -hmm. I'm on a corner. I said, yo, y'all gotta check this movie out. You know what they thought? They know what the, they thought the movie was about? Stick up. Okay. So what happened? They got the movie off of me, went home, looked at it, and said, dude, they was talking about the Moors in there, bro. Like <laughs> the kids you see what I'm That's saying? Right. If you give the people what right. they need, mm -hmm. so it was to trick them to actually get it, yeah. read it, look at the movie, and mm -hmm. say, oh snap, that's a lot of knowledge right. in there. Right. <laughs> Stick up kids. So we kids. have an army. We just got to know how to talk to them. Right. Stop talking to Adam and talk with them. There you go. And then they'll listen. There you you go. know how many brothers that I got from the Crips and the Bloods in L.A.? Mm -hmm. If you go to my barbershop talk I did in, when I first went to L.A., mm -hmm. second year out there, I've been there for 10 years. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting in a barbershop mm -hmm. in, where was I at? I think I was in Compton. 
somewhere in LA, I didn't know where I was at at the time, I was sitting in a barbershop. One brother was a Crip, mm -hmm. one brother was a Blood. Mm -hmm. These brothers were saying the only reason why we in this barbershop is because of Sabiris in here. Mm -hmm. So both of those brothers and other brothers declared their nationality. Mm -hmm. That's in the Crips, in the Blood. You follow me? And they're on here right now on Facebook and YouTube. So don't say it can't be done. Right. It can be done. If I have a crib, and you can see the brothers on this video say, I don't supposed to be sitting there with him. Mm -hmm. This is what they were saying in the barbershop while we were filming. I don't supposed to be in here with him. You know, he's this and he's that. But both of those brothers and other brothers that they turned on mm -hmm. are Moors. You see what I'm saying? So we do have an army. Yes, we do. You have to learn to apply the rules that are for you. We didn't make those treaties, brother. We are trying to do stuff now for our future generation. They said, Sabir, but we, they said, where is the Moors making them honor treaties? We're working. I just told you, Ricardo, you get behind us. I have a shirt coming out, talk less, do more. There you go. Talk less, do more, and support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's happening, because Brother Taj, Taj Tariq Bay has never got off that seriously. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can get it, be doing it at 70. I don't know mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. But Taj never left that battlefield and went up against everybody's trying to get this information out mm -hmm. and to inform people. Mm -hmm. So, brother, it's not going to happen in our generation, bro. See, it's not. You prepare it there. for your next generation. You could be you could be told, we could show you a million victories, but if or, or them honoring the trees. But if you don't know what you're looking at, what the, what good does that do? Most of you say, well, man, they still shoot down black people. And there's no justice. I say this all the time. Did you take the check? Did you take the check? If you took the check, guess what? He got sentenced. Black fans. That means he didn't get away with it. You know why? Because you you took the check. See, slavery is abolished except for punishment of a crime. You ever paid a ticket? We're not talking about Islam for the whole world. I'm not even talking about Islam. No. Islam just means peace. This is not a religious movement. No, it's not. Okay, Islam is, I uh, got that part. Islam just means peace. That's all it means. Don't get it confused, people. It just means peace. Oh, my God. People got to throw, as soon as they see Fezzes, they start throwing Islam in their religion in there every time. Oh, that's, that's them religious group of people over there. <laughs> Man, religion, re religion. How do I, I can't tell you how to talk to gangbangers, but I'm in Detroit. I'm in the Wild Hunnets. Go ask anybody. I'm in Chicago in the Wild Hunnets, so... I'm in my hood, so hey, hey, I can't tell you how to talk to him, but Sabir is from the streets, so I never left. So I don't know how y'all gonna talk to him. Everybody has their way of talking to people. Everyone has their own way of talking. From my understanding, you're talking about how you talk to gang bangers and gang members. How do you talk to anybody? Yeah, what up, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, them my, what brothers, up, my, nigga? my brothers and sisters just like anybody else. Exactly. They, they even tell you that... Uh, the one that y'all call <coughs> Jesus, Yashua Barbarian, he hung with the, with the pimps and whore He hung with the pimps, the whores, and all that. Like, like, you got to be able to go out there and get them. You know, what? What? so what you going to do? You going to sit up to the to the ones holding hands, doing nothing, Kumbaya, and expect bro. to make a change? <coughs> nah, you got to go into the belly of the beast to come out and, and, and come out dancing. Like, you you just can't you just can't go up and, and learn. What you mean? I don't understand how do you talk to them, man. They're my people. Yeah, that's my people. They're my people. Man. And you just talk them. real to these people. Just and you tell them, man, ain't no, ain't no fake, ain't no lies and truth. So when you come with that truth, man, they gonna hear it. They gonna hear that joint. Man. That's just it. When you talk about police terrorism, them brothers wanna hear about this, that's bro. It. When you talk to them about police terrorism, man, them niggas be like, oh, that's what they doing, and that's why they great to take the heads of all these so-called black leaders and all these so-called black conscious dudes who are lying to our people. And majority of these conscious dudes are sending people out on a suicide mission on something that they would not even do themselves. Right. So they're gonna be taking their heads too, dude. Right. You can't call yourself X, Y, and Z and you not, you know, bad on this European. Right, right. Man. I think one of the one of the greatest things that we have to achieve. This is Brent, my 24 year old young soldier. What's up, homie? Understand this here. This say nationality and birthrights taken from the Moors. Black Coast, 1724. Let's get that in there. See that? Lesson book number two. Oh, those books is not numbered the way y'all think they are. Not at all. Ties separate those numbers purposely. All those numbers are set up. You can have two, then write to 14. From 14, right back to nine. None of them is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. None of them are done that way. And those books were written in 1980. That's right. 
He did those books in the 80s. In the 80s. <laughs> My point of bringing up or showing you National Day birthright taken from the Moors, you need to know the things that's, that's, that's going on. See, it's like this. Let's, let's put together. If this is, we'll say, what, this is not actual factual, but we're going to use these terms when they say the Old Testament. Where my other one at? Right here. I got it. I got it. New Testament. <laughs> Old Testament. New Testament. The reason I'm using those terms is to say, like, look, man, a lot of us will get into learning the antiquity laws. You, that's what you should do. Antiquity laws is always in effect. Okay? But at the same time, well, how are they, well, how do I know that that stuff is still being applied? Right here, 1969. Most of us, if it, if it didn't affect your grandmother, your, I mean your mother, it affected you. Yep. You're an 80s baby, you a 70s baby, this affects you. This is an effect on you right now. Sometimes if you, some people say, oh, I, don't, I can't, I don't have time to, to come to classes, I don't have time to read. Well, that means you don't have time for yourself. You're not making time for yourself to do anything different. You go, you have. This gonna have to come a time and place, man. When you gotta, you gotta lift yourself up. It's gonna be too late, brother. You doing the same thing, expecting different results. <coughs> right. We can't force. We nobody can force it into your belly. Some people call it faith, though. What they call it? Faith. Some people. Faith. Yeah. Well, I, I've been taught that there's a three-step ladder, and that three-step ladder says that there's belief, and that belief is like, man, you got, you got a little bit of. You got a little bit of you. You think you think you know what's going on, but you don't have no backing for it. You've been you told something, you running with it, and then from belief, it goes into knowledge. Knowledge means that you are acquiring, you are gathering the information, and then from knowledge, is fruition. That's the top of that three-step ladder. Fruition means that that's that's what my, my, my brothers from the gods and earth say the true and living Fruition is being the true and living You you can't just take some some information and say oh well, shoot I man I know man. Oh, yeah, I read about the wars man. I know it's all good. I know I'm a war, but it's all good. What's your name Johnson? You see that's not that's not <laughs> you just gathered some information But to be fruition with it you got to be true and living. That's why we taught to be active and not passive mm. So when you become active, then you will see and recognize that the treaties are honored. When you walk, when you walk around into your essence and then you see and you got your button, your button on your lapel and you get your free trip to Mecca, then you'll understand that those that, 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 that the treaties are being honored. What I mean by that, man, you're you, you a Morisco. If you've been a Morisco, they honored it. Take his fares off, take his sandals off. And, and, and give him a name, take away his culture, don't let him know nothing about himself, well then, what's you? Then you, you, you in order. But if you want to get back to your ancient principles that ab antiquio, well then you need to learn, you need to learn the order that's under effect. You need to learn your ancient, your ancient principles, your culture, and apply them today. You need to stand on that third step of the ladder. Some of us call it a, a Muhammad's mountain. The top, right here, third eye. Wake up. Activate. That's what it means. That's what we're trying to tell you. So we could go through a million books. <coughs> we could go through every every word in the dictionary. Now, of course, we know that it's just like if, if, if you eat a whole bunch of food, man. You, you It's not that you, ain't no way that you're going to eat and not digest. So that's why we encourage you to read, to educate yourself, to apply. Hey, man, it's, it's something new. You try something, man, it don't seem to work for you, man. Don't, oh, that stuff don't work. Man, it's not about working, man. You got to learn. Learn to apply yourself. Be part of your culture. Be who you are. You know, that, that's what it takes. That's what we're losing at. We have, no, we have no culture. You know, in the beginning, there was the word, and the word was to be, or I am. You are more. Learn more. Be more. You are more. That's all I'm saying. It's long, boys. It's long, this is what we do, man, 24-7. I just got off a long behind bus ride here. <laughs> so your brother's gonna go take it down. Cause I gotta go to Dallas tomorrow. Dallas. Well, we gonna do this more, man. We gotta do this whole this real barbershop talk, man. What's your name? You don't need a culture, you need to go on good terms with your creator. Your creator.
The oh people believe some. There's some religious dogmatic people in these threads, boy, like Negro. Listen, oh let me tell you. Hallelujah. Maybe they'll get off my thread. <laughs> God is God is good. Man. And Jesus is my Hallelujah. Jesus is my Savior. Wow. Wow. Funny as hell. He said, again, bro. Wow. 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 Come on, man. He's crazy. Oh, I'm out in the morning. He's talking about I'm calling in the morning. I'm out in the morning. You better try like now. <laughs> I'm out. Hey man, these guys got Really read their books, man. Like they really got to read those like, books. You, man. you call yourself black? Read the black books and see what they say. Tell you right there, you got a new status. Well, that book right there. Name, yeah. I got so many, man. I don't even talk about so, it. Go share. I read. Go support. Okay. What's this? Dallas. I hope I can find your boy, your brother. Oh no, you can email me. Let me flip this around. Hold up. Email me severebayradio at gmail .com. I'm only in and out of Dallas. Everybody, everybody in here that have any kind of uh, and tell tell one or two, your, your document nationality papers, you need y'all need to bring us one. We'll have one, okay? So bring make a copy of, of whatever we do. We got the right. We do it here too. Bring a so copy with y'all on the hat. Let me show y'all outside where we at. So what I want y'all to do. Everybody enjoy. Hope everybody um, can go to Cash App, Cash App Severe Bay, and support. I told y'all I was going to do this pay per view. Cash App Severe Bay or Severe Bay Radio at gmail.com. I'm only going to be in Dallas for a day and I'm out. All right. All right. So y'all can book me in Dallas. In Dallas, I will be in Dallas, but y'all can book me Severe Bay. Radio at gmail.com again, Spirit Bay Radio at gmail.com. My sister Tasha Thomas, she does all my booking. All my booking. I'll be in Philadelphia this weekend. I'll be in Texas, I mean, um, Canada on Tuesday, Toronto, Canada on Tuesday. So, holla at me. Y'all can book me. I'll see y'all in Dallas soon. So, people, cash out, Spirit Bay. I'm going to take it down. Hope everybody enjoyed Hall of Fame Barbershop out in San Antonio. No army. No rock with army.